Ooh. Oh shit. Nice. Oh my god, that's so much better than how it was. Welcome back to another video. Pulled the RSX out of the garage and brought the CRX in because we're going to be doing another cheap-ish slash simple mod to it that will help, uh, you know, better the quality of life and livability with a car. Today we're going to be upgrading the shifter linkages and even adding an aftermarket uh, short throw shifter. So these parts are pretty cheap and you can find them on eBay. Matter of fact, the actual shifter that I got in knob, and then the new knob I also got, I got off eBay for cheap. Um, I'm not sure how good they're gonna be, but I mean, worth a shot, I guess, you know? The shifter itself is supposed to be like a shorter throw shifter than the, than the uh, stock one in there. And then the shifter linkages, those are solid aluminum pieces instead of the OEM rubber or uh, aftermarket polyurethane, so it's gonna be a lot more solid in terms of how it feels when shifting. Um, theoretically, you know, probably just gonna lift the driver's side. Um, I should be able to crawl under there from there. And then from then on, you just really need a 12 millimeter socket to really unbolt um, the shifter linkages from the car. Under the car, here's the exhaust pipe. And what you need to do, is get to this bolt and there's one right next to it over there to lay down this this whole shifter bar this is what the shifter goes into i need to undo that too all right that's all you really need to do it's just really no place to record under there so i'll just skip forward here's the oem part just clamps in right there and this is what holds the shifter bar thing I guess you can call it um it's rubber it's all oop, it's all soft and worn and here is the new piece it's also a two piece also which makes it nice because up here where it connects or where it goes around is flared to keep this from sliding off basically but since it's two piece, I don't have to worry about that. I just use the OEM bolts to put it back in. Here's the thing though, to change the shifter, I'm going to have to undo this down here and take it out from the top. And to my first problem, to get to the shifter, you gotta undo two bolts that are here and here. Hold in this cup that, that the shifter uh, kinda sticks into. Uh, unfortunately, this bolt is spinning. The screw it goes into looks like this. It's got a little square part inside here that fits into a hole. But this one seems to be rusted or something, so I'm gonna spray some some WD-40 or something on it and find out a way to, if I could like hold down the the top part uh, or something. Let's see. All right, guys. So I finally got that piece out. I had to douse it in WD-40, as you can see down there. Then I had to use a vice grip to hold this screw part from the top, which was really hard because it's a small space. And then, you know, just use the 10 millimeter to, to undo that. Hopefully, hopefully I can get this back on tightly. That's done, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue getting this shifter off. Once you unscrew these, this pretty much just falls out and then just come, this whole thing comes out of that bar assembly. So now I'm going to get the new one and reinstall all this stuff onto it basically. So here's the new one. It feels lighter. Not sure if that's a good thing really to be honest. And uh, this is where the ball, little ball joint is. It's more or less the same height. It does come with these brass spacers that go right here. So yeah, because this is supposed to be universal for not only the CRX, but the EF Civic and all that. So, 
basically just need to undo this stuff, I guess. There we go. Okay. Just need to slide that boy down here. Pretty much be like that, kind of. And these new brass spacers that go right Surprisingly here. Surprisingly enough, these screws stayed in place while I tor torqued those down. Uh, those are good. I had to put this, install this part, uh, shifter linkage, uh, just hand tighten it really, so that way this will stop moving so I could install this part. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll get so back yeah, to I did. I did this. Um, I need to still tighten this down, but once that's tightened down, we're almost done. Next, we need to do this right here where the red bolt is you don't do that and install these for the front bushings you just need a 12 millimeter socket or a wrench probably a wrench because the space is a little tight on this side um, undo that and this, when you take out the screw it uh, or the bolt it drops down especially if you leave the front the rear linkage loose a little bit it'll drop down and then you just gotta take out those rubber uh, grommets in there and replace it with uh, aluminum ones so yeah let me just dig those rubber pieces out right quick all right so I got it out it took me a, a good while I had to get a razor blade and cut off both ends so that way it could slide through the hole uh, so that part might be hard or easy depending on the condition of yours so I'm gonna slap on this new one bolt it down and go from there. I tightened down the bolt as tight as I could, and it's solid. So let's get to the last part, which is the shift knob. So one con to all this that I did notice is that it's now that now that the shifter doesn't you know uh, throw as far, it's harder to get this in and out. But it's still doable. But yeah, so right here I got so I got a locking nut, the shift knob itself, and this little cheap little Honda decal <laughs> nothing too crazy so let's just throw this on right quick throw this on and I'll be right back I'm gonna get a wrench to to tighten this down all right guys there it is I tightened this down kind of like a tighten this while tightening that at the same time stuck that on let's see how it feels oh oh shit Oh my god, that's so much better than how it was. I wish I took before footage, but the whole OEM setup was really, really sloppy. First off, like it was sloppy like this, it was really loose, so swaying by side to side. And then like the throw to each gear was so long, like each gear was in its own zip code. And now it just feels more, not just shorter, but more notchier. And I went with, even though this is like a really cheap eBay shift knob, I went with that simply because this OEM one doesn't have any weight to it. And I mean, it doesn't even look that great anyways. So this, even though it's cheap eBay stuff, it's still aluminum and it's still weighted. So now the throws will probably feel a little better in terms of like weight behind the throws. I am satisfied. First time I've ever done this to my CRX or any CRX, to be honest. Unfortunately, when I was under the car, I uh, found or discovered that the uh, driver's side CV boot was torn to crap. Because uh, I noticed there was like splatter all over the inside of the wheel of the front driver's side wheel. And lo and behold, the boot itself was, was torn. So all the grease and stuff is flying out of there, so I'm gonna have to get new CV axles for this thing, you know. <sighs> but yeah, anyways, sorry I couldn't really show you exactly how I was doing things. I really wish Jeff, Gian, and Steve were here in Asheville because they helped me not just fix the cars, but with the videoing too. So now I'm out here doing everything solo, so 
Plus, it's hard to record stuff from under the car anyways, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching though. If you liked it, just hit the like button, uh, comment uh, anything that you want to say in the in the comment section, and if you haven't yet, subscribe and hit that bell, all that good YouTube stuff, and I guess that's it. I'll uh, see you all in the next one. Peace.